BlackBerry doesn't make phones itself anymore, but licenses its name to different companies around the world. The new BlackBerry Key One is manufactured by TCL and imported and distributed in India by Optimus Infracom. This new model aims to meld a modern Android smartphone with the classic BlackBerry keyboard. After many unsuccessful attempts, let's see if the new BlackBerry Key One gets it right. First of all, this is a big bulky phone. It's thicker and heavier than most of its competitors and feels very sturdy and well built. The rubber back and curved sides make it easy to hold, but typing with two thumbs means you have to grip this phone at its base, which can get tiring. The main attraction is of course the keyboard, which retains the classic BlackBerry layout and backlighting. The keys are all wobbly and a bit too tiny. We found that we weren't able to type very fast, but those who are clinging to their ancient Blackberries might like it. The surface of the keyboard is touch sensitive and you can use it to swipe, scroll and select text. You can also flick upwards to autocomplete words and pull up a soft keyboard on screen. You can also set short press and long press actions for each letter key, giving you 52 shortcuts at your fingertips. Because of the physical keyboard, the key one screen is shorter than usual. This isn't a problem in most apps, but videos and some games have to run letterboxed. It's also difficult to reach the controls in a game in landscape mode. A fingerprint sensor is embedded into the spacebar, which is a clever touch, but we wound up constantly hitting it instead of the capacitive home button. The display itself is fairly crisp and is bright enough to work well indoors as well as outdoors. There's a single speaker on the bottom which can get very loud. The Key One runs Android 7.1 with BlackBerry's custom UI and quite a few useful apps. There's the Hub which unifies communications from email, SMS and social media accounts, and the custom calendar, tasks and search apps that BlackBerry users will love. Specifications are fairly mid-range. The Key One has a Snapdragon 625 SoC and 3,505 mAh battery. The version sold in India gets 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage, which is more than you get in other countries. Another major difference is that while the phone works with only a single SIM in some markets, the version here has a hybrid dual SIM slot, so you can swap your micro SD card for a second SIM. General performance is smooth, but this phone doesn't really match up to others at its price level when it comes to benchmark tests and heavy games. If you use this phone only for productivity, you won't have any trouble. The rear 12 megapixel camera takes decent photos in the daytime and somewhat blurry ones at night. The level of detail is good, but colors don't really pop. You can record video at 4K, which might come in handy. The battery lasted us through a full day with quite a bit left over, even after using it with lots of email and messenger accounts active. That might be because this phone doesn't really lend itself to watching videos and playing games. There's also quick charging for when you're in a hurry. The BlackBerry Key One is priced to compete with a number of high-end Android phones, but doesn't really compare well in terms of looks, raw performance, or entertainment capabilities. This phone is meant for those who miss their old Blackberries and want a tool for business. It all comes down to the keyboard, but even if you're feeling nostalgic, we suggest that you try this one in a shop before you spend your money. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. You can also find us on YouTube, Twitter and Instagram at Gadgets360.